when I saw the line up, bro, I burst into laughter. Like, is this the team that wants to play Spain? Like, is this the team that wants to cause an upset, that wants to win Spain? I was just laughing in my mind because, in as much as the coach reshuffled his team, brought in fresh leg that hasn't played at all in the competition, even if he dropped almost his starting 11, if, even if he dropped everybody, the team was still balanced, very, very balanced. The likes of Ferran Torex, Joselu, they have to be Mendy, they have Mike Moreno, they had everybody, like they had near Omo. So the team was still very, very balanced. It was a joke. It was to me, it was like a joke because I knew that Albania was not going to get a win. They get to go to draw. You see all those things that they did, the first squad against uh, Italy, the first squad against Croatia, all those stuff. I knew it was not going to happen. That this game, they are not even going to smell the ball. But when I saw the Pens lineup, I knew that, guy, this, this, this game is done for. This game has been won before the game has been even going to be played now let's talk about the goal Ferran Torres brilliant excellent like he plays like a number nine a number nine that's a winger because the way he scores effortless he plays across the front line he's seven nine eleven and he scores effortlessly on his weaker foot can you imagine the coiler on his weaker foot well that goal I'll give that goal the brilliance of that goal to Danny Omo because that pass was crazy that pass was like a defense splitting pass. It was really, really crazy. And Ferran Torres finishing was fantabulous. You get one thing that Spain used against Albania today was that you don't see a Spain player in one place. They are always moving. So it gave Albania headache, serious headache. And that, that was where the goal came in. The left back was not expecting that run. Before, from nowhere, he just, before he turned, he, he saw Ferran Torres at the back. Before he, he said, okay, let's even know what's happening. Ferran Torres has already played the shot one time. He didn't even waste time because the keeper was out of place and he had to do it sharply before the guys recover. So one of the things that Spain used against Abena was the movement of the ball. They were terrific off the ball. Like they were just moving everywhere, causing promotion. Abena could not keep up. They couldn't keep up at all. Like they couldn't keep up to the pace of the game. In as much as they possessed the game. Now Danny Omo on the other side, that guy was brilliant. He made sure that he was like he put on his creativity boots today. You understand? He showed us that he can be that man. Like he, we can rely on him. He actually dictated the game. He wasn't selfish. He always tried to play others in. He get always tried to give that deadly ball. There were some great passes he did, like he did in the final third that was quite unfortunate that he couldn't get to the number nine or it was blocked or unfortunately didn't go in. He was really, really fantastic. I think he at midfield was the most notable player there that you could see that was outstanding in that Spain midfield. He was the most notable player there. Mikel Merino, he was just on and off. Zubimendi, that guy, I didn't even see him in the game. At some point, you wouldn't even know that there was somebody like that in that game. Zubimendi was off, he wasn't in the game. Then another fantastic player was the Spain left back, Grimaldo. Yeah, that guy was fantastic. His crosses into the final third was mad. Like, it was always crosses commotion. Like, all his crosses meet someone. All his pull-ups into the box meet someone. Cause problem. Like, it was like a turn on the Abena defense as His passes was accurate. Now I see the difference between him and Cucurella. Because if Cucurella was in this game, you would not see Cucurella doing all those kind of things. You get Cucurella is defensively sharp than Grimaldo. Defensively wise, Cucurella is 100%. You get Cucurella is that kind of player that, okay, you want to win this game. You know you have the attackers to win the game. You yes, are just Cucurella, more defensive, just like Mwamsaka. He's way, way defensively than attacking minded. But Grimaldo, is that go to mother. Okay, I want goals. I want crossing to the boss. I need crossing to the boss to my number nine. If you are playing number nine with Avero Marata or uh, Giuseppe, which you know that they are out, they are really, really good with their head. Grimaldo is the man. He was fantastic today. Another player that I would talk about is Joselu. In as much as he was not too involved in the game, he was not way, way too involved in the game. He did his best. Anytime he the ball touches his hand, he makes sure that he's a threat going forward. He always makes sure that he's a threat. He always makes sure that something happens. He has some few chances on goal and he made use of it in as much as he didn't score. He made use of it. I was it was so unfortunate that he couldn't get a goal at all he gets so all these players they did well they possessed the game they made sure that abena did not play ball and abena was still sloppy like it was if they came to this game scared because in as much as they were not holding the ball you know there will still be a glimpse of whereby the ball okay, to counter they had the pace their left winger had a lot of pace but they couldn't use it because their passes were sloppy that decision making was poor when they hold the boys like if they don't know what to do they are scared either they move the ball backward or they just pass it back to spain if not if they were bold enough they could have gotten a point in this game they were not bold enough i think maybe they might do better next time but they were not bold enough so they couldn't even savage a point yes they pressured spain at the last 10 minutes of the game but it was like reality hit them that oh 
this game is getting over we need to salvage something out you get but still at that they were not threatening yes broja had an amazing chance in the late stage of the game he had an amazing chance that's a quick free kick but he couldn't convert it now spain are nine points top of the table and three wins in the group stage so it was a great game and good one okay chooks we saw spain completely dominate the game but who would you give your man of the match because every player uh, performed up to par who will you name your man of the match i give it to daniel Mo because he was the difference in that game so i give it to daniel Mo. he was everywhere creatively he was sharp controlling he was sharp like he was always present he was the mr reliable and he delivered so i'll give it to him spain at top of their group stage table with nine points one nil is the final score line a 36 minutes goal from Ferran Torres seals it from Spain. That's it from us. Give this video a like. Let's get your thoughts in the comment section. Just tell us about the game and we're going to give you a kind response. Okay, if you've been seeing our videos and would like to be part of this young and growing YouTube community, just hit on this part of your screen and you're going to see the option to subscribe. So just hit here and subscribe to our channel. It will encourage us to produce more of these shows for you and you're going to see our videos immediately they are released. So from Chooks and I, it's going to be bye for now. 